Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is a little tutorial about fixing not an issue but a behavior that Blender create when you are using a curve to mesh node in Geometry Nodes with a profile curve. So let's jump in. Now I'm working with the Blender 3.2 and I delete these camera and light and collection. I start with a simple Bezier curve, Shift A curve Bezier. So this is my curve. I go to this plus button general and geometry notes click this button to create a new notes modifier and now I have to create a curve to mesh node I will use a circle curve to get the profile decrease the radius and this is my shape okay my geometry so I want to create the UV map for this. So how make a UV map of a profile curve? This is the idea. You know that a UV map is a square from 0 to 1 in the X axis and from 0 to 1 in the Y axis. Okay? I have to create this two dim dimensional map with this shape. To do this you have to imagine that there is a curve in this direction and I have a curve in this direction. Okay? This one and this one. These from 0 to 1 and these from 0 and 1 to the last value. So I have a resolution of 32 points. I decrease these to 4 to better see the behavior that Blender makes. We have to use this value for one of these two axes. I can choose the X axis and this direction from 0 to 1 for the other axis of my two-dimensional map. If you unwrap this shape, you can get this square. This is not a square, but this square. You have to image this as a square. Now, to get this number, okay, from 0 to 1, this is easy. It's the factor attribute of this curve. So I have to get the spline parameter and capture the value in this curve and capture what the float value of the factor use a final combine XYZ to have the curved map to the output of the geometry nodes we have to use these two value leaving the Z axis as zero we don't need that axis so the first is the X value the second is these value so I have to capture in the same way the float value the vector also for this curve and drag this attribute with the y-axis. I can invert this. We don't care in this moment. Now I have this. I can rename the output vector to UV map and make sure to assign a name to let it visible from the shading editor for example UV and also in the spreadsheet information now that I have the Y and the X values of this curve I can select all these nodes press Ctrl G to create a group tab to exit from this group and this is the UV creator tab enter in the group and move these this is the curve and this is the file curve tab to exit from the group node now go to shading this is my shape create a new material f3 add an attribute node call the uv name of our output of this field from the geometry nodes system make a simple checker texture link the vector to the vector assign a black value and link color to base color now you can see anything because you have to go again to the geometry nodes and set material to the new shape created select the new material and turn on the preview material and voila this is the result so I go to shading to increase the scale and see the behavior that I described before I go to geometry nodes and you can see now I hide the annotation for a moment and you can see these okay this behavior if I increase this resolution you can see better result this is an ugly result we have to fix it this behavior happens because uh, Blender knows the points from the first index 
okay to the last index one one through two three four five six seven eight but from the last points to the start points doesn't know which values use in these interpolation so to fix this behavior you can imagine that we have a resolution of four vertices we have four vertices zero one two and three we have to create a new shape with the number of the vertices plus one and move the points from the new position to the original position except the last so overlap the two shape you can see a similar shape we have to move the point zero here the one points here the third point zero one two the third point here the fourth here and the fifth in the original points two to avoid the behavior we will hide the value because we will shrink this distance from this length to zero to see these results i will show you how to make this i hide the annotation now i have to resample this curve with a count starting from the resolution plus one okay to get the resolution i get the length of the spline i have point clouds okay I add a value of 1, I link this value to the count, so if I use this as the profile I have 5 points, ok? But the behavior remains. Now I have to move the points, so I have to add a set position to move the first 4 points of the new resample curve to the original 4 points of the original curve. Okay, so I have to shift right button drag to make a dot. I have to use F3 transfer attribute. I have to transfer information about the vector of the original position of my index from this curve to the new position. So we have to choose an index. Index we have to transfer uh, a vector of all points based by the index from this curve to this curve and I have these results so the fifth point has the fourth points okay you can see this but if I use a mix RGB node to see this behavior I can link the original position and the new position to see the result you can see this is the original new resample curve but if I increase this factor you can see the points are changing their position to the original four points okay and also the fifth points goes to the fourth original points these and these points are going to the fourth original points of the original curve so we have to take these fifth points and let it go to the start point to hide this behavior so to see the result I duplicate these nodes link this geometry to this geometry press G to move these nodes use these for the profile curve I decrease this factor obviously and now I have the original position now okay no, does, uh, nothing changes and now I have to transfer the position of the first point of the original curve so this is the point the first point to the fifth new points of the profile curve resampled so I have to link the geometry to the transfer node but now I have to uh, add a value to indicate the first the zero zero index we want the zero index and tra transfer these to the position we want okay and isolate only the fifth or the last point of the profile curve resample to make these we have to add with f3 a node called endpoint selection that can isolate the selection 
from the start or from the end of the curve that you want so if I set these 0 to 0 we have nothing selected no points selected but if I start from the end of the curve and increase this value I have one point okay we want the last point of the curve the fifth that in this case is in the exact position of the fourth point now if I increase this factor you can see the fifth point moving to the start point of the original curve Ta -da! the behavior is gone now for the tutorial I use this mix uh, node but I have to link directly the position of this attribute to the position of the set position node and delete these nodes and this is the result you can select these move a little bit these nodes and you can select the entire nodes press ctrl G to make group tab to exit and rename the this group node with a fixed profile curve and voila and you can increase as you want the number of resolution and the behavior is gone thank you guys for watching this uh, mini tutorial i hope you like it and if you want to you can uh, leave a comment check a like and if you want to subscribe to my channel i would appreciate it you can download this project from the link in the description on my gumroad page and see you in the next video bye